Japan and the International Olympic Committee took a difficult but wise decision to postpone this year's Olympic and Paralympic Games. I thank Prime Minister Abe and the members of the IOC for making the sacrifice to protect the health of athletes, spectators and officials. We look forward to next year's Olympics and Paralympics, which we hope will be an even bigger and better celebration of our shared humanity and look forward to join. We have overcome many pandemics and crises before. We will overcome this one too. The question is how large a price we will pay. Already, we have lost more than 16,000 lives. We know we will lose more. How many more will be determined by the decisions we make and the actions we take now. To slow the spread of COVID-19, many countries have contributed or introduced unprecedented measures at significant social and economic cost, closing schools and businesses, canceling sporting events, and asking people to stay home and stay safe. We understand that these countries are now trying to assess when and how they will be able to ease these measures. The answer depends on what countries do while these population-wide measures are in place. Asking people to stay at home and shutting down population movement is buying time and reducing the pressure on health systems. But on their own, these measures will not extinguish epidemics. The point of these actions is to enable the more precise and targeted measures that are needed to stop transmission and save lives. We call on all countries who have introduced so-called to use you have created a second window of opportunity. The question is, how will you use it? There are six key actions that we recommend. First, expand, train, and deploy your health care and public health workforce. And second, implement a system to find every suspected case at community level. Third, ramp up production capacity and availability of testing. Fourth, identify, adapt, and equip facilities you will use to treat and isolate patients. Fifth, develop a clear plan and process to quarantine contacts. And finally, number six, refocus the whole of government on suppressing and controlling COVID-19. These measures are the best way to suppress and stop transmission so that when restrictions are lifted, the virus doesn't resurge.